Hi there, Rusty Skaggs here, Ream Water Heating. Talk to you for a few minutes how to use your multimeter to check your upper thermostat, your elements, things like that. A couple ways you can do that. Uh, first, I'm going to talk to you about checking the ECO on your upper thermostat. That's that little red button, the emergency cutoff. If this heater gets to 190 degrees, that little button's going to pop out. It cuts off the electric to that heater. Reason for that ECO is to keep us from having what we call runaway heater. In other words, if that ECO didn't work and this thing just kept cooking water and your TMP valve is bad, which you're not, you need to be testing those as well, but if your TMP valve is bad and it's not releasing pressure, this doesn't kick out, you're going to continue to build pressure inside that thing until it eventually ruptures or you're blowing steam through the faucets in the house because you boiled that water. That's why this ECO is so important. To test this ECO, take your multimeter. First, well there's two ways to do this. I'm going to tell you without power first. To test it without power, turn your power off to your water heater. Make sure it's, you've got no 240 going to the heater. Then what we're going to do is you're going to disconnect your wires. You're going to take your multimeter, set it on continuity. Take your two probes, touch this side. If that beeps, that's telling you that this leg is good on that ECO. Remember, this is 240 volts, so you've got a 120 volt leg here, 120 volt leg here, which combined give you that 240 volt, okay? Now, after you've tested that side, you test your other leg, you get the beep, you know you got a good ECO now. There's good, good continuity through both sides of it. Now, you can do this with power on as well. If you want to do it that way, that's perfectly fine. Set your meter to voltage AC, 600 volts AC. Go to your upper thermostat, touch your two probes across both leads, one leg to the other leg on the top. You should have 240 volts. Then drop down to your other two down below it. If you have 240 on the lower side and 240 on the upper side, that's telling you that ECO is good. You didn't have to turn your power off and take all your wires loose, so that's a quick way to check it. Other thing you can check on a uh, electric water heater with your meter is your elements. Now there's two ways to do that. One is with continuity, okay? Continuity, again, you set the continuity setting. You touch, take your wires off of both, uh, off the back end touch both sides. If that's a good element, it's going to have continuity. You know you've got a solid, you've got a complete circuit there. That's not telling you 100% that this element is good. That's just telling you you could have a complete circuit. You could have a calcium bridge built up across the break in that element and calcium will conduct and it would conduct until you got a complete circuit. That's why I like to go ahead and do an ohms test on my elements. To do the ohms test, you get 200 ohms on your meter resistance, then what you're going to do is you're going to take your two probes, disconnect your wires, touch it to those two on your ohm setting, and you should read across the 4500 watt element, you should read around 12.8 to 13,000 ohms. Anywhere from 11,000 to 16,000 ohms is a good range. So if you're falling inside there, that's where it's at. Now there is a formula you can use real quick to determine exactly what you should read if you want to do it. You take your voltage, which is in this case is 240, you multiply it or square it, so that becomes 56,700 I think is what it works out to. Then you divide the wattage of your element into that. So if this is a 4500 watt element, you divide that 56,000 by 4500. If it's a 3500 watt element, you divide by 3500. And that's going to tell you how many ohms this thing should read. And if you're within plus or minus a few of that mark, you're, you've got a good element. And that's the best way to test them. Thank you.